welcome to my channel. My name is Diana Romanovska and I am a certified family law specialist practicing family law in San Francisco. Today I would like to talk about community versus separate property acquired during the marriage. Family code defines that any property acquired by husband or wife or together is either community or separate. Um, I'm a little smiling because the Family Code section 760 is defining community property negatively, meaning it says everything that is not specified to be separate property is community property. So that's not very helpful, therefore I would like to clarify what that means. So any property that it's separate property would be anything that one spouse acquired before the date of marriage or after the date of separation or if during the marriage by gift or inheritance that would be separate property not community property meaning it would not be divided 50 50 um, and then um, produced by separate property. Produced by separate property means, for example, if someone had an investment account before the date of marriage and it would produce passive income, profits, rents, that without one spouse investing any skill sets in growing that property. So it would be more an investment account managed by someone else. That is separate property. So then, um, in situation where one spouse is putting separate property towards community property, there is a code section 2640, family code section, that says, for example, to simplify that section, if one person, one spouse in a marriage decides to put down payment on a house, um, then upon divorce, that spouse can reimburse um, as a separate property reimbursement claim dollar for dollar down payment back. So one might think it's unfair because if someone puts 20 years ago $200,000 in a million dollar house and now many, many years later the house is $10 million, then why would that spouse um, receive only $200,000 versus 10 times the increase in value of that $200,000, which would be um, two million, right? Not uh, I hope my math is not off. Basically, 10 times the increase of value of the down payment. So in that case, um, California law doesn't protect that, and that's where prenuptial agreements come in place or uh, post-marital agreements. But anyway, for this topic, I think that's uh, covering the basics. So I hope that was helpful, and I will see you soon. Bye! Mm -hmm.